What's up, this is EasyOSX, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the tabs on the top of Firefox with vertical tabs on the side of the screen. Before we begin, I'll show you that I'm using Firefox version 97 at the time of this recording, and this method works currently. I'm also going to have links to the extension, editing tool, and the typed up versions of the CSS we're going to be using, because yes, we're going to have to put in a little code. Don't worry, it's not that complicated. Now there are going to be four major steps to this. The first and easiest step is to install an extension called Tree Style Tab from the official Firefox web extension site. You can go there and search for the extension, but I do have the link in the description so you don't have to go looking. Once it's installed, you'll see the tabs you have open in the left sidebar. There's a lot of customization you can do here, but you'll notice that you have the tabs both in the sidebar as well as the classic top of the app, which is probably not what you want. So now we go to step two. We're going to go into Firefox's config page so that we can even enable the ability to make these next changes. To do so, go to the URL bar at the top of the page where you type in website addresses. Now type in about colon config and hit enter. You're going to get a warning to proceed with caution. Just hit accept and continue. You'll be presented with another notice page with a search bar. Now we're going to search for a particular string that I have listed on screen and in the description. It reads toolkit.legacyuserprofilecustomizations.stylesheets. But you'll notice as you start typing, Firefox will start autofilling the results below. So by the time we get to the .legacy portion, we have the string we want. By default, it'll be listed as false. Double clicking this line will change it to true, which is what we want. With that, we can close out of Firefox for now. Now we're going on to step three, where we're going to create the CSS file. I'm going to start with the most basic version of this, but once I show you that it's working, I'm going to show you how to customize it to make it look a little better. You can use a basic text editor to make this, but I'd recommend using a dedicated code editor. I'd recommend bbedit instead. It's my personal favorite and has a free version, which is more than enough for what we're going to do. If you're on Windows, then I'd recommend Notepad++, and my Linux friends can use gedit. Once you have your text editor of choice, Open it up and make a new document in it. Then we're going to type in the CSS code. Now I've got this code in the description if you want to just read it and copy it, but if you want to type it out, then the code is as follows. Hashtag or pound sign, tab browser dash tabs, all one word. Next we'll put in the curly brackets, which is above your inner key. Now I'm going to type visibility colon space collapse space, exclamation mark, important, semicolon. Make sure there's no space between the exclamation mark and important. And I'm going to make them on two separate lines and tab this over. This is just for readability's sake. It does not affect anything with the actual code. Once you've got that typed out, save the file to your desktop as userchrome.css, making sure user Chrome is all one word and the C in Chrome is capitalized. Where you put this file is OS specific, and as a Mac channel, I'm going to be working with the path on Mac. But for my Windows and Linux friends, I've got the paths to where you need to go on screen and in the video description. Even though the path is different on each platform, once you're there, the steps will be the same. If you're following along on Windows and Linux and you're at that location on your platform, jump to the timestamp on screen to continue. Back to the task at hand, open a new finder window and hit the go option in the menu bar. Then hit go to folder. You're going to have to type in the path you see on screen and the description so you can just type or paste that in to save time. But I'll also navigate through the folders with you if you prefer to see it. Type in tilde, which is the little wavy dash typically next to the one key on the keyboard. Then a forward slash, which is next to the right shift key. Then library. Hit enter and then open the application support folder. Then scroll down and open the Firefox folder. Then the profiles folder. Once you're in here, you'll need to open your profile folder, assuming you have multiple. If you only have one, then just open that one. In my case, I'm clicking on the EasyOSX folder. And just in case you're wondering, these changes will only affect the profile that you add it to. So other people using Firefox on your computer, 
in their own computer user accounts or other Firefox profiles you use won't be affected by this. Once you're in here, you'll need to make a new folder labeled Chrome, all lowercase. Once you've created it, open that folder. Then just drag and drop the CSS file you created into that folder. Finally, open Firefox and you'll see that the top tab bar is gone. Try saying that three times fast. And you only have your tabs on the left hand side. Now, if you're looking at this and happy with it, then you're all done. Thanks for watching. But if you're thinking that it looks good, but could be better, then I'm going to show you how to improve this. We're going to add a little more to our CSS file. Go into the customized toolbar menu, which is located by clicking on the hamburger menu on the top right corner of Firefox's window, hitting more tools in the dropdown, and then hitting the customize toolbar button. Grab the flexible space item and drag it to the top left corner of the Firefox interface, specifically to the left of the back and forwards button. If you don't do this, you won't get the stoplight back properly. Once you've done this, quit out of Firefox completely and go back to your CSS file. You're going to type the following code, which again will be in the description. First, we're going to type in hashtag title bar, all one word, the curly brackets, and then appearance colon space none space exclamation point important semicolon. I'm going to make a new line, height colon space numeral zero px semicolon for zero pixels go down to the next line and then we're going to type in hashtag title bar right caret or greater than sign depending on your age toolbar dash menu bar and then curly brackets again and then margin dash top colon space zero px semicolon Make a third line here and do hashtag tabs toolbar and capitalize the T's in tabs and toolbar and make it all one word. Curly brackets, min dash width, colon, space zero, space, exclamation mark, important, semicolon, new line, min dash height, colon, space, zero, exclamation point important semicolon and finally we're going to go to the last line of code which is the longest hashtag tabs toolbar again all one word t's in tabs and toolbar capitalized space right caret space period title bar dash button box dash container no spaces at all Curly brackets, display colon space block semicolon, position colon space absolute semicolon, top colon space 12 px semicolon, and then left colon space 0 px semicolon. Once you've done that, save the file, open up Firefox again and you'll have this nicely unified top interface with all your tabs on the left side of the screen. Oh, and in case you want the sidebar on the right, hit the tree style tab drop down at the top of the list and hit move sidebar to right. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website easyosx.net as well as our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.